Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. This week we are reading Be Brave Little Penguin. And Be Brave Little Penguin is by Giles Andrea and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Be Brave Little Penguin. Can you guess based on the cover what Little Penguin might need to be brave about? Here's Little Penguin and Little Penguin is looking into the water. I wonder what might make Little Penguin nervous about the water. Let's see. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones and thin ones. There were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. Here's Pip-Pip. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Oh no, there's Pip-Pip, all alone. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip echoed in his ear. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip-Pip? said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a th silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing? Mommy, what if I get in? And it's just too dark and deep for me. And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? What do you think? Is that likely to happen? I don't think there are any monsters. I understand, little one said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in the water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of tasty treats? Take my hand, my little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. You think Pip-Pip can give it a try? Let's see. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way toward the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy, and as his small heart thumped, he closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip jumped. Splash! For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, Oh, something's wrong. Pip-Pip, please, where are you? You've been under much too long. She leapt into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly, from nowhere, came a little voice she knew. Mommy, Mommy, over here. Hey, Mommy, look at me. I'm swimming, Mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming. Can you see? She turned and spinned and circled through the water bright and clean. And as she watched her little one right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. <laughs> Woohoo! cried little Pip-Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly. Well, kind of. I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy. Try. Oh, Pip-Pip, laughed his Mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you learned to swim. <laughs> Look at him go. He's jumping right out of the water. 
Then his friends all gathered round as Pip Pip landed with a bump and, and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. <laughs> the end. What do you think? Did Pip Pip do a good job? Did a great job. He was so worried he didn't even give it a try. But sometimes the bravest thing we can do is just give something a try. I'm so glad I got to read with you today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.